Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Well, I got a new Twitter background. I didn't make it, uh, but, I, but I like it a lot. Here, let me uh, zoom in and show you. It's my big old Chris Cool logo, and it says Chris Perillo, and it's got my email address, and that's it. And then it's got this, like, blue starburst radiation coming out. It's kind of neat. I didn't do it. Uh, Candace Jarrett did. Uh, this is Candace. Of course, you might know Candace Jarrett. She's on YouTube. She's also on Twitter. She's an indie musician. And she redesigned my MySpace page. I said, hey, could you do the same thing for my, my Twitter as well? And she said, sure. And so then she did it. I'm like, this is great. This is awesome. Now, not everybody out there is a great graphic designer. Many people don't even know how to create a graphic or let alone edit one to make their own customized background on MySpace, Twitter, well, anything that would need some kind of background. So uh, someone told me about, in fact, I think it was the uh, creator of the service, uh, someone told me about this website, freetwitterdesigner.com, freetwitterdesigner.com, those three words, and you're following me on Twitter, right? At Chris Perillo, follow me, I'll follow you back. So what you can do here is you can create your own background. You can start with a blank template. Of course, they give you a few others to, to start with if you want. So we'll just go with uh, blank here. Let's get started. Uh, so then we've got an onion skin of sorts uh, showing our screen resolution as well as uh, what would be the, uh, the regular uh, Twitter data right there in the middle. And we can go in and we can add text, add shapes, or add an image from our hard drive. Uh, the Twitter overlay, overlay right now is ghosted. We can also change the Twitter color. So let's say we want uh, a red background. We can go that way. We want the links to be uh, yellow. Let's see here. We'll select yellow. And we can have the text black, etc. So now we've got the red background. Uh, let's add some text here. So what we're going to add is what, what kind of text should we add? Hmm? What should we do? What kind of text? Give me some text. I need some text. Okay, Pixie. Pixie. Let's say we're making a, a profile. For, you like red, don't you, Pixie? You like red? Okay, well, I'm just going to go with red then. So uh, we've got red, and now we can choose the font here. Quite a few fonts, actually. Let's see if we can find a, a pretty doggy font. Ooh, that one's kind of neat. I like that. Sidewalk. That's fun. So now we've got her name, Pixie. Let me. I can make it larger. Look at that. Pixie! Yeah, screaming Pixie, all right? Uh, if I wanted to, I can go over here. I can change the font face. I can uh, change the layer order, you know, as I have more objects on there. Change the color of that font. Uh, let's see, we'll make it yellow, uh, pixie yellow, okay. Uh, then we can change the blend mode if we want. Lighten, multiply, overlay, screen, subtract, difference, darken, add, normal. I mean, if you've done any kind of uh, image editing, you'd understand uh, that. Then they've got different styles, so I can add uh, backgrounds and uh, shadows and everything to these elements if I wanted to. Uh, and, can, of course, I can subtract them as well. Uh, let's see here, we can also add a shape. So, uh, pixie, do you like any? Pixie? Fine, we're just going to choose the, uh, let's go with the heart. Pix Pixie's sweet, so we're going to choose the heart place. We've got this nice big heart. We can make it that way, stretch it over here, and drag that there and put it over here. Uh, let's change it to embossed. Uh, uh, let's, uh, I like the shadow a little more. There's a nice subtle shadow there. Pixie, yay! All right, so now we've created it. We could also add an image of Pixie if we wanted to, but I'm not going to go that far. Right now, I think you get the idea. We press the Generate Image button, and in a couple of seconds, uh, it will give you the image. So you can save the image locally to your hard drive, and then it also gives you instructions on what you need to do next to uh, create uh, or to place the image that has been generated into your Twitter profile so that uh, the next time someone who you know goes to look at your profile, they will see something unique, like uh, me. Well, I mean, don't use mine, because that's that's me. I mean, that's my email address. That's my face. You can't, you, well, you can. I just wouldn't recommend it. Use your own face. Use your own name. Use your own email address. Make it yours. <clears throat> Again, the website where you can go to is freetwitterdesigner.com. It's as easy as that, and you don't need to register. My email address, chris at perillo.com. No of other resources to play with, whether it's useful for Twitter or anything else. Drop me a line. Of course, you know you can also stop by our community. If you're a technologist, then you'd be more than welcome to join geeks.perillo.com. And then you can also come by the chat room, which is a part of the live video feed, so you can actually be a part of the videos. I think one person in this uh, particular video said, hi, mom. He was in the video. You see your name up in lights. It's kind of neat. I mean, considering we have about, uh, well, we have close to 600 people who are watching right now. I mean, it's, it's been steadily increasing as I've been doing videos uh, throughout the afternoon. Um, so if you like talking about tech, well, then you're probably going to feel very welcome right here.
24 hours a day, seven days a week. Whether I'm in this chair or not, the chat room is certainly alive at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.